Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. For more than 100 years, explorers and scientists have been left amazed by the wonders within our deepest parts of the ocean. They found creatures ranging from tiny organisms to supergiant crustaceans, but as one study found, not all discoveries are so wonderful. Located in the Western Pacific, east of the Philippines and 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands, lies the Mariana Trench. It's a crescent-shaped scar in the Earth's crust that's more than 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide. The distance between the surface of the ocean and the trench's deepest point, which is called the Challenger Deep, is nearly 7 miles. It's a place so foreign that until recent decades, scientists had almost no clue what sort of life forms might be roaming around there. If you go deeper than 3,280 feet into the ocean, there's no sunlight. It's so deep that if Mount Everest were dropped into the Mariana Trench, its peak would still be more than a mile underwater. Water temperatures often settle in at just above freezing. And the food isn't too much down there. The water pressure in the trench is nearly 1,000 times greater than at sea level. The pressure is so high that it will crush nearly any creature or man-made object unless that animal or vessel is built specifically to withstand those extreme conditions. For a long time, we didn't know what existed down there, but now humans have been down to the deepest parts of the ocean. What they found down there will completely blow your mind. So, let's look at some of the weirdest and creepiest things scientists found in the Mariana Trench. 8. Plastic Researchers from Japan recently analyzed a collection of deep-sea photographs of the trench and found that thousands of pieces of man-made debris lurk far below our ocean surface. And the most shocking part? The deepest known piece of plastic trash, a single-use plastic bag, submerged 36,000 feet or nearly 7 miles in the Mariana Trench. Their findings are proof that even the most remote parts of our ocean aren't safe from plastic pollution. Scientists made the discovery after going through photos and videos taken from more than 5,000 dives over a 30-year period. In total, 3,425 pieces of man-made marine debris were found. Of those, 33% were macroplastics, the vast majority being single-use products such as bags, straws, utensils, and coffee lids. The stats get more miserable the deeper you go with plastics becoming ubiquitous below the 3.7 mile mark. According to the researchers, plastics in the deep sea where there's no UV light and little turbulence could potentially remain there for hundreds to thousands of years. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. 7. Microorganisms The scientists that went deep inside the ocean took samples of the water even though the pressure there was unbelievable. They were shocked to find microorganisms down there that they had never seen before. To be able to survive in such depth requires a lot, and these microorganisms had those traits. Scientists think that these things could explain the evolution of mankind and the changes the world has seen over the centuries. 35,000 feet down, there are microbial mats which are clumps of thousands and millions of microorganisms. These creatures use a unique biological process to live off chemicals that they collect from the rocks that are present in the depths of the ocean. Scientists have said that these microorganisms could explain how life on Earth originated. We know a lot more about the surface of Mars than our real history, so these microorganisms and bacteria could actually help us in understanding and learning more. 6. Metallic Sea Creature Bacteria and microorganisms living in the deepest parts of the ocean aren't as surprising because they're so small that atmospheric pressure doesn't really apply to them, and if it does, the effect is almost insignificant. But recently, scientists have discovered something which they thought wasn't possible at all until they saw it with their own eyes. There are actually water animals present in that part of the ocean. That's surprising because it's almost impossible for anything known to man to survive in such pressure. Even the metal of the ships that go down there starts bending. So what are these animals? Well, scientists recently discovered that there was some mysterious sea creature made of metal and was shining. The object vanished in an instant and the explorers were only able to record it for a second or two. What could it be? 5. Mysterious Jellyfish Other than the metallic sea creatures, there are more sea animals that were discovered in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench. A mysterious jellyfish was seen floating around. It looked nothing like the jellyfish scientists have seen. It was actually shining and unlike the metallic creatures, scientists saw it for a while before it disappeared. It really looked like something from the movie Aliens. Scientists still don't like to comment on what they had seen. 
the jellyfish were seen in the submarine peak of the Enigma of the Mariana Trench. All you need to know about it is that it's one of the deepest parts of the trench and scientists have been there just once. Deeper down, scientists saw amphipods on the ocean floor. These creatures are small, almost the same size as shrimps, but the ones found here were much bigger. Some were bigger than a foot, and some even bigger. They looked like something out of a sci-fi movie. These animals grow in no sunlight and even at the bottom of the sea where the pressure is 1,000 times more than the upper sea level. 4. Dumbo Octopus Some other animals live in the deep parts of the Marianas Trench which we know about but have barely ever seen them. One of them is the Dumbo Octopus. Humans have made it just once in the trench so no one has really caught this octopus. It exists in different shapes. It's an octopus that Walt Disney would have invented for one of his animated films. It has cute little Dumbo the Elephant-like ears atop its 12-inch body. This adorable animal also has precious wiggly eyes and a delightful mouth that only add to its cartoonish look. This octopus may look dainty, but it's actually strong enough to make it the deepest dwelling octopus known to science. It prefers to make its home down between 9,800 and 13,000 feet. The octopus is known to be found deep inside Marianas Trench and scientists saw them roaming around where there wasn't any light either. When you think of octopuses, you probably think of an animal that has nothing but eight tentacles. The Dumbo, however, falls into a category of so-called umbrella octopuses with web tentacles that give them an umbrella appearance. Unlike most octopuses, this species doesn't munch and grind its food with a beak-like mouth, instead it simply swallows its prey whole. So if you happen to be on the Dumbo octopus's menu, it probably doesn't seem nearly as cute. 3. Sea Devil Anglerfish If a fish has the word devil in its name, it's safe to say that it's going to be scary and amusing. The Sea Devil Anglerfish doesn't disappoint as it features a whole list of fascinatingly strange characteristics. Let's start with its looks. As its name strongly hints, this is a fish that could have swum up straight from hell, with its distorted body, razor-like teeth, and cold death stare which would scare any person in the world. Even though they're bizarre and scary looking, they're not huge. Females are generally 8 inches long. The males are much smaller at maybe an inch long. In the strange twist of reproduction, the males actually fuse themselves to the females. Their fins, teeth, and eyes disappear along with a few internal organs, ultimately turning the two individuals into one. What's left of the male's body essentially becomes a storage tank for sperm that will help fertilize the female's eggs when the time is right. A fish this weird can only be found in the deepest parts of the ocean. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. 2. This is actually a photoshopped picture as we couldn't find anything related to it on the internet. We assume that the person who made this probably had a kraken in mind. A kraken is a mythical beast that supposedly lives in the deepest parts of the ocean which is actually the Mariana Trench. We don't know much about the oceans of the world so a kraken might just be real. 1. Goblin Shark This is probably the scariest looking shark in the world so as expected you'd find this in the deepest parts of the ocean. If you've ever seen the iconic movie Aliens, you've been haunted by dreams of toothy, bald creatures bursting from your chest and snapping at your face. Now picture a shark with just such a face swimming around in the darkest, deepest seas. That's the goblin shark, the monstrosity from your nightmares. Goblin sharks have a swelling nose that looks like a pointy sword. Just below the nose are a set of jaws that appear to be mismatched for the shark's face as if evolution spun the wheel of ugly and the goblin shark lost in the worst possible way. What's more, these sharks aren't really a gray color. Instead, their skin has a distinct pink hue. Scientists think that might be because of no sunlight in the deepest parts of the ocean like Mariana Trench. If you're ever in the water when a goblin shark passes by, you'll realize how big they actually are. They can be as big as 18 feet in length. Fortunately, you're unlikely to encounter such a beast. These sharks typically cruise way down to 3,000 feet and the older they get, the deeper they dive. As with a lot of deep sea animals, science knows very little about goblin sharks. No one knows exactly how they reproduce, and a pregnant female has never been captured. So like the goblins of fairy tales, these fish remain a mysterious and fantastic example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. This is our take on what did scientists find in the Mariana Trench. What do you guys think? What else is down there? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.